Hi, what's up guys, Sam here. Today I'm going to be bringing you my review of the new Inform Yova Titch, which was out in the Team of the Week recently. As you can see, this was a team I was playing in my full gold Galatasaray team, which I just took out the two strikers and replaced them with Vucinic and uh, Yova Titch. They both get nine chemistry, so it doesn't really matter what team I'm playing them in. But um, Yova Titch, we'll see his base card stats just here and the amount of goals to games I've got. 82 pace, 84 shot, 78 passing, 88 dribbling, 78 heading, only 52 defence, but that doesn't really matter. He got 9 goals in 5 games, which is pretty decent, especially for me. He got, uh, sorry, he's got 4 star weak foot, 4 star skills, and he's 6 foot. He cost me 107k, which I'll come up on later whether he was worth that or not. Here is in game stats 91 ball control, 76 crossing, 91 curve, 90 dribbling, 91 finishing, 79 free kick accuracy, 79 heading, 70 long pass, 87 long shot, uh, 29 marking, which doesn't really matter, 94 penalties, 87 um, short pass, 90 shot power and 82 volleys, which is generally pretty decent, especially for a striker, he's got all the stuff you need up front. Um, he's 6 foot again. Got a high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate. He was definitely making the runs I wanted though. Um, he's got 83 acceleration, 88 agility, 79 jumping, 88 reactions, 83 sprint speed and 78 strength. He's got 82 attacking positioning and 80 vision, which generally come into play quite a bit when you're making runs and passing things like that. But here, we'll show you a couple of goals I scored with him, a couple of things I thought he did well. Heading wise, let me just cover this first, he was amazing, he was such a good target man which is the one thing I wasn't actually expecting him uh, from him, it's the one thing I um, would, would have liked but I wasn't. I didn't buy him for his heading, I bought him because yeah, I thought he'd Good, uh, sorry, I thought he'd be quite a decent player to use. He's got some good dribbling on his card, which brings me to whether his dribbling is really up to scratch. I didn't feel that his dribbling was 88. I didn't. I, I just didn't. I didn't feel that he deserved the 88 dribbling. I, I, if I had to give him a new dribbling stat, I'd probably say about 83. Like it, it wasn't anything special, but it wasn't anything terrible. Like he just. He felt like his touches were quite long. I, re I reckon that had something to do with his pace as well, but he, his pace was relatively relatively decent. It didn't lie on the card. He was definitely 83, 84 pace. Um, but overall, as far as shot is concerned, he had a really, really decent shot. He had a good, powerful shot, good finesse shot. He had decent curve. Um, his weak foot was acceptable. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't anything special. It was four star. It wasn't. It wasn't five star. I wasn't expecting him to finish every weak foot shot. He finished quite a few, but not all of them. Uh, his free kick stats were decent. His penalties were really good at 94, 91 curve, along with 90 free kick power and a I think that was 78 accuracy, which could be improved, obviously, but it's not the end of the world. I did try a couple of free kicks with him, but I didn't score them. His, as far as skill moves were concerned, his skill moves did feel quite fluid when you were actually doing them, even though his dribbling wasn't as good as I felt, but I reckon I've, I've used I've used players in the past that have uh, better, better that more they're more enjoyable to play with. He I was expecting a lot of enjoyment out of this player, but I didn't I didn't really I didn't really find that enjoyable to play. But his strength, he was quite strong on the ball. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was 78. I'd probably give him a 60 strength. He didn't feel very strong to me. Like there wasn't, he didn't really. Every, every time I saw him on the ball, and he was getting muscled off by a defender. I don't know who the defenders were, but he was definitely getting taken off the ball quite a bit. Um, as you can see there, his finesse shot is good. Took, took it onto his right foot. His right foot is perfect. Like his shot is really, really good. For he's better than most strikers I've used actually. So as far as target man shot is concerned, that's really what you want in a striker. Like if you're crossing, buy him definitely, and he's definitely worth the money. If you're looking for a pacey player that can just bomb it up the wing, don't buy him because he isn't that. Like he, in no means is he slow, but he just isn't fast enough to isn't fast enough or strong enough to outpace people like Felipe Santana. They always seem to keep up with him because in, in game Felipe Santana seems to have about 91 pace but there's not much you can do about that but generally heading wise he was good strength was average nothing special uh, his balance on the ball seemed quite decent his shot was amazing his link up play with his passing was decent as well it was the I think there was 78 on the card which is always good in a striker allows you to command link up play things like that 
but overall I'd probably give him a an 8 out of 10, he's not really a complete striker, if he had a bit more pace he'd definitely be better. Um, but whether I think he's worth the money or not, I'd probably definitely say he was worth the money. I'd definitely pay the 100k every time, I'd probably say, probably say he was getting close to the level of informed Balotelli, um, who costs close to 300k now. Um, but Inform Jovetic is definitely going to drop in price and you should probably pick him up if you have the money. He's definitely a player to you, you should just try and see what he's like. But I'll be looking to sell mine so I can not make a stupid loss on mine. Hopefully I've got my point across in this video, hopefully you can try him yourself, see what he's like. Definitely try him out. Alright, thanks for watching.